Let me make sure that that's actually true. Um, cool. Neon Mob Official is streaming. I'm not sure that Wild Paw Studio is. Oh, here we go. There's a view on YouTube link. There we go. Excellent. Cool beans. We are in business on both places. We figured it out. We are so powerful. <laughs> we are so strong. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is just send a test message to make sure it shows up in the chat. Great. We can see that. That's fantastic. Um, you can see that too, right? In the chat on the right. Yep. Excellent. We got cats. We got things happening on both streams. I'm going to turn on the audio and hear this horrific echo. Yep, I'm hearing, hearing the horrific echo when I turn on the audio on Twitch. I can hear my own voice. It's horrific. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm turning, turning that off right away. Uh, <laughs> cool, 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 cool. I don't know how to see how many viewers have appeared so we can make give people a second to like trickle in because it's not even three yet. Uh, I don't know either. You, hmm. I'm trying to see if there's a button there somewhere so that we can see if we've got viewers yet so we can be like, pick a cat. It's it's great. Love a cat. There's captions. There's QR codes. I don't. Huh. Oh, there we go. There's a, if you look in the top left of the actual like stream studio, there's a little eyeball and it has, it'll, you can hover over it and it'll show you that people are here. A whole person. Oh, I don't Hello. see that. No, um, where there's the live and then there's the minutes the countdown. Yeah, and then to the right, there's a an eyeball. I don't have that on mine. It's weird. Inter interesting. Well, we only have, it only says one right now. So I don't know if it's just that there's a delay in realizing there's a person or if it was me checking Twitch was the person. Oh. <laughs> Could be anything. Who's to say? Uh We'll give that a minute and let folks trickle in. Um, it has only just turned to 3 p.m. So, you know, you know. This is granted, like, like, I know some people are super interested but are going to be, like, at work or whatever because that's how time works. Um, yeah. But I, but we're, we've got the Twitch will record the VOD, so we'll be able to upload that and people will still be able to watch you make a cat. Yeah. It'll be fun. It'll be good. We are uh, doing this live. This is a this is our first interview happening. It's a little bit of guinea pig situation. Wild Paws is being an extraordinary guinea pig. Uh, very amenable, very helpful. Um, <laughs> yeah, I am saying hostess like things. You've got so many folders of cats. I do. <laughs> this is the first one that I did. Ooh. I still have him in here. <laughs> oh, delightful. So do you just do all these in the same document then? Yep. Okay. I have to make a new document for literally everything or I lose my gosh darn mind. <laughs> I usually do up to like three or four because then it starts getting really cluttered. <laughs> yeah. How do you like sort them? Like, is it just whichever first three or four I'm doing? Or is it like, these are the ones who are this kind of cat? It's just whichever one I feel like doing so valid <laughs> yeah i i feel like i would lose cats i'd be like which one of these is the is the white cat which document of four cats and it would just i i'm i would die <laughs> i would die all there is to it so oh. but then the downside is i've got like 800 documents of all my all my art and it's like what did I name this one? There's no consistency in the naming. So I lose things anyway. So really I should not be like judging. I do the same thing or I'll name something like final and then have to go back and edit it and be like final for real. Final for real yeah. this time version two. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Constantly. Final, real final, 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 but actually. Yeah. Final, please. Hopefully this is the final one. And then like three weeks later, I'm like, hey, what? 
like even with work documents like i'll make something that's like a certificate for something and then like the next year that they redo the same like contest again i won't remember mm -hmm. what i named the thing <laughs> could be anything who's to say <laughs> There's a document in here somewhere that's got something on it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, these are such good cats. I'm excited to watch this cat happen. <laughs> I'm I'm really thinking about making one of them long hair. But Ooh, I don't know love which one. Love. I don't know. Ooh. It also depends on which one people pick. <laughs> Because that one would be really cute, yeah. really fluffy, because he's got that big, long yeah. tail. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Um, I do love a good fluffy tail. I <laughs> do love a good fluffy tail. What if we do introductions now? What if instead of just complaining about folders, we say hello, and people who are watching this VOD can finally be like, hey, what? <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, uh, I'm Abendro, or however you want to mispronounce that word. I'm not German. Abby is also acceptable. I am the community manager and uh, Discord event coordinator for and non-Discord event coordinator for Neon Mob. I use she, her pronouns. I am Wild Paws. Um, you can call me Wild or Paws, either one. Um, I am an artist that does multiple sets for neon mob and i also do like commissions and everything um off of neon mob and i'm a graphic designer as a like nine to five job so <laughs> so many art things so many art things i know <laughs> <laughs> just art constantly uh with the graphic design was that like a a matter of like well i do art so i may as well get paid about it pretty much <laughs> nice love that that's good because people are always like you shouldn't monetize your hobbies and I understand why but I feel like graphic design and correct me if I'm wrong but graphic design feels like just slightly to the right enough of the art that you're already doing that it's different it, it does like yeah it's like doing um like flyers and pamphlets and like t-shirts and then on this other side I'm just doing whatever I want <laughs> like cats. heck yeah yeah Drawing like cats, cats. Drawing cats. Oh, I'm so excited for us to draw cats. Yeah, so today we are going to get to watch Paws do um, one of the cats for Shrine Cats, her upcoming series. Because um, you, you've, you've got three of them launched so far, and Shrine Cats is going to be the fourth, I think? Yes. Cool beans. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna be fun. Um, love a cat. Love a cat. I believe we were just trying to decide between two different sketches if anybody has opinions on which cat we should do today. I say we. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> this one also has some little things. Like, I don't know what he's looking at. So I was like, okay, maybe a fly or maybe Ooh. a toy. I don't know. <laughs> We've got options here. Or it could be nothing. Could be ghosts. That's just kind of how cats work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it a ghost in, or is it a bug? <laughs> Who's to say? Who's to say? And then we've got a stretchy fella. Who might be fluffy. I don't know. Might make him fluffy. He might be. Ooh. I think, like, my personal vote is definitely, like, fluffy stretch cat. But if the chat has any opinions, they should absolutely offer those opinions. <laughs> Some of these are even based off of my own cats. <laughs> Yes. How many cats do you have? I, okay. I have, um, six cats, but that's so many. <laughs> there are four here in my house with me. And then mm -hmm. th there is one that is outside. He just came up to us a couple weeks ago. So, you know, we put food out there. So I guess now he's technically my porch cat. So I'm going to have to take him <laughs> to the vet and get all that. Mm. Yep. And yep. That's your cat now. Yeah. Nothing to be done for it. <laughs> He picked my porch. He's he's my boy now. Um, <laughs> and then I also have a cat at my office who is mine. Um, the, the station kind of like adopted her, but I'm the one that takes mm -hmm. care of her. So she's mine. <laughs> oh, nice. That counts. That counts. But yeah, that's I have a lot of cats. <laughs> I love that for you. Our landlady lets us have one cat. The cat does not like me. Um <laughs> So a cat exists in my house, technically. Oh my gosh. 
let me actually let's see i am going to yeah. show you the variant cards of my yeah. cats <laughs> Yes, let's 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 it be introduced to Paz's cats. Please introduce me to drawings of your cat. Okay, this one, I'm just gonna copy them in, into size so you can see them here. Yeah, whatever works best. This is my boy, Sneaky <gasps> Meek, the the baby. I remember you showing me this one before, but I'm still not over that big ribbon collar. That's so good. <laughs> He's so cute. Mm hmm. Absolute baby. And then I have. A, this is my fat boy, and he is a big cat. We're working on Let it. <laughs> Let me see the lad. Oh my god, he's so Chunky. cute. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, absolute unit. He chunky fella. He was twenty eight pounds, but that's a lot. He's now down to twenty three. So <laughs> that's good progress. Progress. <laughs> And then this is the one that I think you heard earlier where she was trailing and was talking. Mm hmm Had opinions. She is very colorful. Oh, I can already tell. Oh, I can just, like, look at that, like, bottom left one, and I know that this cat is full of opinions and hot She takes. is. <laughs> she is very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Love a spicy girl. What's her name? Her name is Ayla. Oh, I love that's a good cat name. I love love a spicy cat. Love a cat who's got opinions about things. And her little tail is actually broken like that. Oh no. We don't know what happened. We got her when she was just like big enough to like fit in your hand. She was tiny. Oh my god. And someone Did you get her from like a shelter? Someone rescued her and brought her to me and was like, I don't know what to do with this cat. Can you take her? And we took her and she's been with us ever since. I love that apparently people just kind of give you cats. Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> is this like a frequent occurrence? It is, actually. Oh, my God. Um, this cat, her name is Gracie. She's the, the fourth cat that's here in my house. Um, mm -hmm. Her neighbor actually um, just kind of dumped her outside and she made her way to me. Mm -hmm. And she, um, you, you, you can't see it, but in the picture up above her head there... She has a big, like, open wound on her back where something, where she oh, got no. bit. So I took her to oh. the vet. We we did everything for her, and now she's in the house living her best life. Oh, good. Oh, good. I love how cats also <laughs> apparently give themselves to you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, this is the this is the office cat. Ooh, That's we her. got more. We got more. Let's do office cat. <laughs> that little face. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> that's so good. Oh, she's she's so sweet. She's also spicy, but oh my gosh, I love mm -hmm. her and her gnawing on the Christmas tree. Oh my god, she's got she needs a snack. She, like every other cat I've ever met, has never been fed in her life. <laughs> she needs a snack. It's important. But um, the last cat, which is outside, he's new, so he doesn't have a card yet, but he's still super cute. Mm -hmm. And he's he that's looks cute. like her, except um he has like some little white specks all through him, but he's mm -hmm. really sweet too. Oh, love a good porch cat. Are you <laughs> planning on making a card out of him? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Oh goodness. That's all my cats. <laughs> Absolutely. Just the whole menagerie. I love it. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Oh, they're all good babies. I love them. I wouldn't trade them for nothing. <sighs> I didn't. I have never met them, but I also love them. <laughs> Extremely good animals. Oh, so my vote continues to be for stretchy, long-haired boy or or girl, stretchy, long-haired fella. Um, I just think that fluffy tail you were talking about would rule. I think that would be excellent, and nobody is here to oppose me. And, so that's my and no one can tell me no. Nope. <laughs> I'm exercising the authority that I don't have to make you draw this cat, Fluffy. <laughs> you can draw whatever you want. I don't. I'm not in charge of anything. Okay, so let's make this cat Fluffy. Yes. He gets up yes. big old Fluffy ears. Yes. Hair is like my favorite thing to draw. I don't know about you. I love it too. Yes. It's just, it's Fun. Granted, like I don't generally draw animals. I'm one of those artists who can only draw humans. Uh, but hair, it's fun. You can do so many things with it. Oh, I am not good at drawing people. I I really wish I could draw people. I feel like 
like you've got artists who can draw people really well and you've got artists who can draw basically everything except people uh and that i feel like that mean. just seems like a common theme yeah hi baby hello we've got a special guest hi hi i heard her huh Oh, she's got opinions. She is petite. <laughs> she brought me a toy. That's 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 what she's telling me. She's she's <laughs> happy. Oh, she's got thoughts. She's got opinions. She's got playtime that she wants to do. <laughs> what a baby! Let's see. That almost looks like a so, little lynx. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So with Shrine Cats, was it like just kind of, well, I think I want to draw cats now. Or was there any particular reason to decide you were going to do cats next? Also, hello, new guest saying hello in the chat. Good to see you. Hello. New Viv Studio. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Cat Central. Um, Shrine Cats. I drew a really pretty like Tory gate. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I was like, man, you know what? I want to put something, you know, on, on Tory gates. And I was like, cats. That's it. It's cats. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the beginning and end of the thought process that was it <laughs> <laughs> was it like i'm gonna i'm gonna make a neon mob series out of this or like while i'm at it i may as well do a series kind of deal yeah, that <laughs> fantastic i love that give him some butt fluff let's see what else some oh fluff yeah right here Need some butt fluff <laughs> just fluff wherever we can put it That's some good fluff right there. All right. Yes. Yes. Is the strategy just fluff wherever possible? Yep. Fantastic. Your line work is so like crisp and clean. I like what's the what's the process usually look like? Is this like a sketch that's gonna get refined or is this we're doing the lines just doing it live? This is a sketch. <laughs> okay. So far. <laughs> Ma reasonable. I like, like, even just your sketched out hair is so clean, though, that I'm like, this could be line work. This is not <laughs> as much, like, this is cleaner than my line work. I'll tell you what. Right now, I'm just using, like, a marker tool, but I'll, I, sw I switched <laughs> to brush to do the lines. Got it. Let's see. Oh, I get to do the tail. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tail's gonna be real good. I am excited about this tail. It will probably be built like that. Okay. So how long have you been doing art for? Oh man. Uh <laughs> I did my first piece, I think, in 2011, like like digital piece. Mm -hmm. Um and it looks so bad. <laughs> But I was proud that's of That's trying something time. new for that. Yeah, that's that's how it goes. That's trying something new for you. Um, I actually redid it, and oh, nice. it, <laughs> the the difference is insane. Yeah, because that's like that's a long time of doing art and improving and learning. It is. No, that's super exciting. Being able to like compare and see how far you've gone. That's awesome. And then has it always been like animals that you've drawn? Cause it's like, well, I guess cause you've got your other series and one is the horses and one is like these super amazing, um, like landscape places, things. Oh yeah. Um, Technical terms. A lot of those were um, like speed paints that I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna make a set out of these. Cause I already have them. <laughs> you may as well. <laughs> you may as well. Were there like, were they for anything or was it just like, you know, it would be cool to paint some rocks. Some of them were um, like personal pieces. Like I play a lot of um, art role play games. You know, have, have you heard of oh. those like ARPGs? Yeah. Yeah, I have. We should do a little explanation for the viewer's sake, but I, I know ARPGs. Okay. Um, <laughs> I play a lot of those like um, Phil Vargas Dakotas. So basically what it is, is you have a character and you draw this character in certain scenarios and then they roll for loot. And then you can like, it's, it's like, a, it's a whole game with like tons of systems, but you level up the character and get loot. Um, a lot of those 
backgrounds are from that. Okay. Now it's line work time. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Oh, that was quick. You got that fluff done like nobody's business. <laughs> this is this is where I'm like, line, undo, line, undo. Line, undo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. That's art, baby. <laughs> I love their yeah, little so those, Tesla noses. They're so... It, I love those. <laughs> they're good noses. They're so boobable. But the landscapes backgrounds we were talking about, for those of you unaware, are from the set Explorer's Field Guide, which does still... You can still open packs on that one. Um, your other two series are, like, sold out, but you can still open Explorer's Field Guide's pack. Yeah. Packs. I think that's the only those. one that is... Um, still open from from my yeah sides. yeah ancient beast is sold out and heavy hooves is sold out so it's it's just explorers field guide but soon it'll be shrine cats how far along are you in the how many cards you got i have you know what let me check let me switch over real quick how many do i got i have I need one more common to make like the the minimum set, but I have three chases and five variants. Okay. So how many are you planning though? Like that's the minimum, but what's the plan? I would like to get at least 20-ish cards. Okay. Like base set cards. Yeah, that's a solid that's a solid number. And these these are they they're not like hard to do but it does it does take a lot of time yeah no that makes sense i like it i don't know there's a lot going on with any given cat <laughs> has it always been like primarily animals that you've drawn then have you ever forayed into humans and been like nah i hate this actually i have drawn a couple humans but i'm always just like I hate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is not how I thought it would look. <laughs> I am so glad that this program has a line tool that I can just mm. kind of cheat. <laughs> yeah. Work smarter, not harder, baby. Much better. Because, like... There we go. There we go. Because, like, for those of you unfamiliar, you've got, like, your brush tools where, like, you draw a line on your tablet and that exact line shows up on the screen. But then you've got stuff like your line tools where it kind of follows and stretches and bends as you manipulate it. So it's obviously still, like, you're actively drawing the thing, but it's, like, you've got a different sort of control over the line that way. It lets me follow it exact instead of just being like oh, nope wrong <laughs> yeah because so much of line work is just drawing over your sketch and hoping you get the same line and then you don't i, know, and like, then you don't. I hate it sometimes because there are a lot of times where i'm just like you know what <laughs> i wish i could have just kept the whole sketch because i thought you know the sketch looked better than what i had before mm Hmm. that's the thing like i it's I don't even bother with line work anymore for the most part. I just clean up my sketches because I always have that moment of like, man, the sketch was nicer. <laughs> I liked the sketch better. Part of it, I think, is like I heard something about how like with sketches, there's so much going on that like your eye doesn't notice the quote unquote flaws as easily and kind of turns it into something cohesive. Where with the lines, there's like, especially before you color, it's just kind of empty. There's all that empty space and your brain like doesn't it's because it's not as messy as it were because there's not as much to distract. It's like you have that moment of, man, I hate this. I totally get that because I feel like I actually do that too. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a common theme among artists just being like, man, I thought I, the sketch was better. And then you color it and you're like, no, actually, this is great. Yeah. Well, that is another thing for me because I will often um, color my lines so they're not really as... Um, apparent anymore yeah no i i really like colored line work i um will often do the same thing just because i like the effect and also because i don't want anybody to look at my lines <laughs> <laughs> a 
Coloring is my favorite part of art lines. Are my least favorite. Big swoosh. The joys of drawing <laughs> hair. The absolute joys of drawing hair. If I could draw nothing but like hair and swishy dresses for the rest of my life, that's that's the dream. That's, that's not how dream. art works. That's not how art works, but that's the dream. Fur was actually one of the things that I was not too good at because I mm -hmm. would always go for like the same like look of fur, I guess. Like mm -hmm. I would do like this over and over instead of actually like varying it. Yeah. Ooh, I don't like that. Try that again. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's better. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, how much one little line will add and change things. Also just realized why did I do that? Why why did I put the ear in there? A tear. Oh, I've been there. I've done there we that. Go. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Big stretch. Okay. Let's add a little bit more fur right there, probably. Keep them fluffy. Yeah, I think like you get that often with artists who are just kind of starting out where they draw like that same shape on things like for you get that with stuff like grass, you get that with basically anything like if you're drawing a tree, you're going to draw the bark the same thing and like the variance does a lot to make it look like genuine. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what are we oh my goodness saying? The big oh, stretch. The big stretch. And this is where we use that line tool to just kind of make sure it follows everything okay, bends to our whims, everything's fine. Make it nice and smooth because I know it wouldn't be. No, nope. can't just drawing that same line over and over and over and over and over and it would be a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now I just, whoop, there we go. That's it. There we go. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> this is like. Like, I love digital art, and digital art is definitely not a lesser form than traditional by any means. There's just, like, different challenges and advantages and disadvantages to each. But I also, like, every time I use the brush tool or whatever to make those lines so crisp and, like, follow exactly where I want them to, I'm like, man, traditional artists are so powerful for not being able to do this. I know. Or, like, undo. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I don't do traditional art, because I don't have an undo button, and I couldn't live without my best friend, Control-Z. Exactly. If nobody got me, I know the undo button got me. <laughs> I bought, like, a set of watercolors at one point and just, like, I bought, like, I was given nice ones. And I did that thing where it's, like, they're nice, so I have to save them. Um, and so I bought some, like, crappy cheap ones so that I would get over myself and just, like, use watercolors. And every single time I think about it, I'm like, man, but I can't undo that. Once you change the thing, undo. that's there. That's there. <laughs> I did the same thing. I went and was like, you know what? I want to try watercolor. So I went and got like a Crayola, like, kids set. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, man, I can't undo anything. If I make no. a mistake, it's there forever. And it's I was just, just like, there. I can't do it. <laughs> you just got to live with that. Oh, traditional artists are the, <sighs> talented, like, for one. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you you have to be, like, amazing. <laughs> I used to do traditional art, but, man, I... Uh -huh. The undo button. The undo button. It. My best friend. Like I said, like, different advantages, disadvantages to each. Like, different skill sets. But, like, I think that's, like, if you do an art, you're always going to admire. The grass is always kind of greener. And you're always going to admire somebody who does other art. Because it's, like, how? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure traditional artists feel like the same way about the nonsense that we do. The nonsense. <laughs> the nonsense. Oh my goodness. I'm go backwards on this fur. Give it some texture, give it some floof. Speaking of other art, so you mentioned you do graphic design and that's like your whole job. Uh, we're not going to, I'm not going to pass to you about work, but like what other, do you do any other like crafts? Do you any other art forms or is it just illustration? Um, funny enough, I make dream catchers. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Um, 
it's I haven't done it in a while. I haven't had time, but mm. I I love making them like from like I'll I'll go out in my yard and find like sticks and there's um there was some grapevine, like old grapevine I found and I made a gorgeous dream catcher out of that. Nice. But oh, this like little craft things I'll do sometimes, but it's mainly just digital art. Mm hmm. Just kind of the occasional dabble elsewhere. I get that. Yep. It's good to like have more focus, though. <laughs> there was one time where I went and I was like, I'm going to do, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? It's like whenever you um, weave things that, that, I don't even know what? how to explain what this is. What kind of things? It's like um, people use them for uh, decorations and stuff around the house. It's almost like knitting, but you're weaving like a thing that hangs down, almost like um, macrame. That that exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went and got a bunch of yarn and never did it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, I have been in the. Oh, I bought all these supplies, and never did anything with them. I get that. I feel yeah. that. I don't want to talk about all the nonsense that lives in my craft bins. And it's like, I do the thing where I'm like, well, eventually I'm going to try to do this. What if I need it for a different craft later? I never do. I never do. Never. <laughs> what do I think? How, who do I think I'm fooling? Whiskies. There we go. There we Can't go. Type. <laughs> it's fine. As long as you know what the layer is, it's fine. It's a good thing that you're naming them right out the bat. Because whenever I do art, I'm just like, yeah, I only need like one, two more layers. So I don't even have to name them because I'll know. And then I do that again and again and again and again until I have like layer 73. And I'm like, what are you? <laughs> Which one are you? <laughs> what are you? What is on this layer? Let's see. What's it look like without the sketch underneath so far? It looks pretty good. There we go. There we go. Really good fluff content here. I think it's fantastic. Okay, let's see. Now we're next. <laughs> <laughs> Elbow. Elbow time. So oh like what gosh. originally? Oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was just <laughs> having to undo all these lines again. Yeah, that's art, baby. <laughs> so what originally got you like into art? Like was there a was there a goal or was it just like, you know, it's cool? Cats are cool. Horses are cool. When I was a kid, I was a horse girl. Mm -hmm. And I would always draw horses. Fantastic. Like, like nothing else. <laughs> But, like, after a while, I just kind of quit, like, mm -hmm. drawing. I quit doing anything for a long time. Mm hmm And um, I really don't know what got me back into it. Oh, no, I do remember. There was mm -hmm. a, um, do you remember those really, really old bamboo tablets? Yeah. I used to work at Staples. And um, they had one for sale for, like, $75. And I was like, mm -hmm. you know what? I want one. That's a good deal. So, yeah. I went and bought that that little thing, and I had it for like ten years. Nice. <laughs> there were yeah. a lot of times though where I just I quit drawing because you know I would see how amazing other people's art was, and I would just be like, I'll, I'll never be there. I'll never get to that, and I would just stop. Yeah. Mm hmm. Man, I'm glad you kept with it though. Look at how far you've come, baby. Especially because yeah. you wasn't redrawing that piece before. Like, oh, I'm sure that felt so good. Actually, I wonder if I can find it real quick. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, that'd be got super it. cool. We, yeah, if you've got that on hand, because for those of you just joining us earlier, we were talking about uh Paz has got like the first thing she ever drew and then she redrew it. Let me see. I know like, I've got it. We... Oh yeah, no, that would be super cool to see that comparison. See how far you've come. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm so ready. Oh, I love the fact that you're cackling about this. I can't this, wait. This is the first um, piece that I ever did on, <laughs> digitally on a tablet. Let's take a look. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, see, okay. You, went, you <laughs> talked about how bad this was, but, like, you did a whole background about this? Come on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I right. love this, actually. <laughs> This is the repaint, and it is 
vastly better. I'm sure, but that's the repaint. Oh man! Oh, you did like a whole, the whole separate situation with this. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, the light, the light. You can't see me doing a chef's kiss, but I am. <laughs> And this, this one rule. was from 2021, maybe? So this is like two years old now. Yeah, and you've gotten even better since. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is wild. <laughs> this rules, actually. I love this. <laughs> like, looking at it compared to what I had done before. Whew. God, yeah, that is, that's a big improvement. Way to go. Oh, I'm so glad that you stuck with things. That's so good. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, like, feeling of, like, I'm never going to be good as these other artists, so I try, like, I, I get that discouragement, but it's like, I don't know. It's only you're ever going to draw the things that you're going to draw, you know? Yeah. And it was... <laughs> Like, looking back, if if I had kept up with it, <laughs> imagine what I would be now. <laughs> right, yeah. Like, that's always the thing where it's like, well, I could just quit, but I'm not going to, I'm definitely not going to get anywhere near there if I'm not practicing. And I'm going to be mad at myself for quitting in however many years. So I guess we're doing this as a gift to future me. I guess we're doing this. <laughs> just being stubborn about it. That's my strategy. I am at a point now where I am comfortable with what I draw and I really like my style right. and like, I'm going to keep getting better, but yeah. I can finally look at my art and not like hate it. Like I used to. Yeah. Oh, that's a big deal. I'm so glad. Like that was, that was a big, that, that was something that was really hard for me to overcome. Mm -hmm. No, I'm glad that you've hit that point. That's really good. And you deserve to have hit that point. Because look at this. Look at this cat. Look at this big stretchy boy. <laughs> look at this stretchy fella. Ooh, big stretch. Give him his good. other arm. Some shape. Come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Put his other little claw in there. Okay. Oh my god, he's so cute. He's so cute. Okay. So cute. I love this fluff. I'm so glad that you decided to go the fluff route. <laughs> <laughs> he almost looked like a sphinx cat before I put the fur on him. <laughs> sphinx cats are so good. I love those naked little fellas. The Nike boys. The Nike boys. <laughs> I have a friend who has a Sphinx cat, and she mm -hmm. is so funny. She's so oh. cute. Oh, good. I just, like, they're so funny to look at, just in general. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where am I? Okay, this is where I am. Getting into the cookie pouch territory. It's where Ooh. they store the cookies. <laughs> Especially my big boy over here. God, I'm not going to be over how fucking chonky. Oop, I shouldn't say that on Twitch. How chonky that cat was. <laughs> We're going to edit that one in post. We're going to edit that one. <laughs> shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say these things on that. I'm at work. I'm on the clock. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh, I just saw someone else say hi. Hi, I, oh, I can't read those time stamps. <laughs> 15, oh, no. 1513. No, that was hello. from a little bit ago. That one okay. was from a bit ago. That was, was from a bit ago. We did say hello to that person at the time. It's fine. We got there. <laughs> we did say hello when this person showed up. It's going to be okay. Oh, my gosh. I just looked over and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> nope, don't worry. We said hello when they got here. I'm keeping an eye on things. I got you. You focus on your cat. <laughs> Let me put some more muscle definition. What does that look like without the sketch? Let's take a look. See, I, I don't think he needs it. Nah. I think it like helps exaggerate just how long he is if you don't have that like line. Long boy. <laughs> long boy. 
I have no. He, I wonder what kind of cat he would be. Maybe a Maine Coon. Maybe I don't know enough about cat breeds like offhand to do this kind of thing. I'm just like, yeah, that's that's it's that's cat. definitely a cat. <laughs> it's definitely a cat. That one's orange. That one. This one is orange. <laughs> that's as far as I can get. I can like point out a sphinx cat because it's naked. Um, I know what a calico is. That's the beginning and end of it. I'm like that one's orange. That one's fluffy. Oh man. As far as I know, all of my cats are just domestic short hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all I know. But like they just kind of keep appearing in your life. So how can you be sure, really? I know. <laughs> oh man. I I wouldn't change I wouldn't change it. I love them all. <laughs> I'm so glad. Whoa, what line is that? Okay, we're going to have to turn this a little bit. (laughs) There we go. So much better. Okay. There we go. Love to flip a thing around. Like, my wrist was just not having that angle. I I don't know what that was about. (laughs) Love the fluff. Love the fluff. So how long have you been playing Neon Mob? I saw your first set, the Ancient Beasts, was from back in 2021. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, man. How long How long have I been <laughs> here? Does my, will my account tell me? I, I don't it? see it on my end. It's not, we're not going to die if you don't remember exactly, but just like generally how long have you been around? It, trading it's, cards, it's playing stuff. I guess a few years now then because I okay. I've made the ancient beast set mm-hmm. maybe a month or so after I joined because I okay. saw like, I saw it and I was like oh this is cool I want to make my coloring book into oh yeah, yeah you got right into it then yeah just immediately went I'm gonna make sets and everybody's gonna look at these cool monsters like is that, that art- huh go ahead the uh, ancient beasts. I, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it's still yeah. I, I still have it on Amazon. It's been it's been a while, but it is on Amazon. Oh yeah, it sure is. Yeah, you sure can buy that coloring book. That rules actually. I love dinosaurs. Love me some dinosaurs. Heck yeah. I'm super into uh, this deer in particular, this moose that you've got with these giant antlers and that sun in between and like the dangling charms on it. Oh yeah, I love that one. Yeah. So that set is sold out, but uh, you can buy just the coloring book. You can have that. That rules. Yeah. <laughs> that's Can't collect the cards, on... but you can color them. Yeah, that's on the Ancient Beast coloring book. It's linked there in that um, description. So that's cool. And then, like, you have to, you just keep releasing sets, too. Like, there, you are nonstop on this, huh? <laughs> the, let's see, what was the last one I did? The horse one? Oh, yeah, that, heavy that one was a lot of fun. Good. Oh, heck yeah. Were those horses, like, for anything? Or was it just like, I'm going to make Neon Mob look at some horses? Those were just for Neon Mob. Nice. <laughs> I uh, channeled my inner horse girl again. Which I love for you. I love that you have managed to like hold that horse girlness in your heart and love it still. Because it, it it had been a long time since I uh, drew horses, like a long mm-hmm. time. Uh huh. Oh, it's big fluffy tail time. Let's see. Big fluffy tail time. Yes. Oh, he's 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 almost done. It's literally just his tail now. Oh heck yeah! And then are we gonna are we gonna get to watch you color this? Yes. <laughs> nice. Yes, 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 yes. I do um, color and shades, and um, outline it. I don't I don't have the background file here. I mm-hmm. I left it on flash drive at work. Like, <laughs> I only have this. Oh, I don't no. have all my pretty backgrounds, but um, <laughs> we'll get most of the way there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited about all this fluff. I'm so glad this is the route we went. I'm so glad. (laughs) Oh, 
that, that fluff is so big, I couldn't even see where I was going with it. Right. <laughs> Try it again. There we go. So you've been collecting on Neon Mob for a while too, right? You are also like, you're creating stuff, but you're also grabbing all these other cards. Yes. I, <laughs> every, it's like the highlight of my morning when I wake up. <laughs> um, I have um, anxiety and panic attacks and things. Mm -hmm. So um, it like, I don't know why, but it, whenever I wake up in the morning, sometimes I'll have like panic attacks. Mm -hmm. um, just being on Neon Mob will sometimes just, make it gives me something else to do and think about so that it makes yeah. my panic attack like go away <laughs> yeah that like like having something else to focus on exactly oh i get that yeah oh that's so good i'm so glad that like neon mob can do that for you that makes me happy like i whenever i saw the announcement that it you know it could have possibly been going away i was so like i was heartbroken mm -hmm. i was like what am i gonna do now oh. <laughs> God, yeah, no, I'm so glad that we managed to, like, step in and rescue Neon Mob, as it were, because I hadn't heard of a site until, like, the shutdown was imminent kind of deal. Um, and then Cosine, like, swooped him up, and I was like, okay, I can I can join now. I can play cards. Yes, I'm, like, I can't even, like, explain how happy I was when I saw that, that you oh, guys I'm were taking so, this over. I'm so <laughs> glad. I'm so glad. No, Neon Mob's got, like, a really good and solid community, and I'm really glad that people have been so excited that the site lives on. Yeah. It's been fun. It's been a good journey being part of the team. And also playing the game now that I do that. I do love collecting cards. There are so many other, like, artists that I absolutely adore. Yeah, it's so good. There's such a good variety. What are you, what are you collecting right now? What is, like, what are you really into right now? Everyone keeps doing, like, pet portraits, and I am living for them. There's so many pet theories <laughs> happening right now. It rules. Like, the the new one that just came out with, with the stamps. I love yeah, stamps. Yeah, Postal Pets. Oh, I love those. Yeah, Postal and, Pets, that one is by May. And the one who did the pet portraits. Like, yes, that's Amanda those Busby. Those are amazing. Yeah, that's Amanda Busby. We are planning an interview with her later, too, so that's going to be fun. But those are, they're good paintings. They're delightful. So are are those traditional or are they digital? I, th I think those ones are traditional. So we'll I, get to have that conversation with her where I'm like, out. <laughs> yeah, where I get to be like, how does traditional art work? And she's like, how does digital art work? I can't wait for that. <laughs> I'm going to cut corners where we're on stream because usually I will hand paint like the the um, base. Like I will literally go in here and paint it. But I'm just, yeah, I'm going to kind of see if I can. Yeah. yeah. Love the fill tool, my best friend. <laughs> Let's see. Selection, increment, and then invert. Perfect. <laughs> Bam. Got him. The only thing about this is where my fur is, um, where it's so, I guess, what is the word? I don't know the word. Like in in these corners here, mm -hmm. you can see where it didn't um, get them. So I have to usually like go back through and fix all the fur because it didn't get yeah. in between. Oh, that's the downside of all the fluff. Yep. <laughs> yeah, where you've got just like those really tiny like gaps that should be colored in between lines where they meet, especially at points. Yes. Okay, clipping group. He doesn't have eyes, but he does have. Let's see. Nose and claws. So we're just going to put this in here. After put this boy. in there. He's he's got the pokey beans. <laughs> Want to touch those beans but they're dangerous danger beans. <laughs> got the murder mittens. <laughs> Murder mittens. I love that. Okay. <clears throat> so what's your like favorite part of the, of the, just the artistic process, I guess. Is it like the line art? Is it part of the coloring? What, 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 what gets it going? I love shading. I feel mm. like, I feel like the shading is what makes it my art, I guess. 
Because mm-hmm. the way I shade is it's kind of it's kind it's like a mix between soft shading and cell shading, sort mm-hmm. of. Actually, uh, I'm thinking about maybe shading it first and then putting the color. Oh, yeah, we can do that. We can look at shade. We can talk about shade. Let's see. Let's do color so I can see. And then let's do like a blue. A blue. Let's apply. Watercolor erase. All right. I'm going to block out some of the basic. Yeah. So I don't usually like. It makes more sense when you're painting, which I generally do not bother with, like being able to shade first and then get to the um, actually add the colors in after. Yeah. A lot of times, I, I don't know. Sometimes if it's like on a dark character, I will have to um, paint it first and then shade it because shades, mm-hmm. the, the way I shade isn't very good on like dark characters. It's okay. Pretty, pretty difficult. <laughs> Yeah. Is it just like the way that the light gets blocked out first or? Yeah. Okay. Or like if it's like on a, on a dark character, let's see. I actually think, uh, oh yeah. Okay. So I had to basically reverse shade her where she's a dark character and put mm-hmm. light on her instead of um, like erasing out where the light is. Actually, Got I had to put the light on her. Okay. All right. I get that. I but I don't, I don't know what color he's going to be. So. <laughs> well, I guess not a dark color if we've already gotten this far. Yeah. <laughs> I always want to say orange because I love just a dumb orange cat. But I feel like the orange cats usually aren't fluffy like this. I've seen some fluffy orange cats. Okay. We can do stripey orange. Or, or we could, or. He could have um, like white. Ooh, an elegant stretchy cat. An elegant boy. Fancy. I just, like fancy. I just feel like a white cat. White cats just seem so like fancy to me, just inherently. Especially if they're fluffy. That's like a well groomed cat who like doesn't get dirty and their fluffy fur is all nice. He's just fancy. <laughs> He's just fancy. Fancy boy doing a big stretch. I also have a fancy boy. He's, his, his coat pattern is tuxedo. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> he's dressed for all occasions. Yes. A fancy <laughs> business cat. Ready for his job interview. All right. I have a fancy blur tool. That lets me like even all this out. And not oh, look good. so chunky. Yeah. Love to just blur things. Just kind of smudge that all into place. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, after this block in, then I'll go through with, like, an actual, um, <laughs> words, another brush, mm-hmm. and start defining the fur. Nice. I'm excited to see the fur come together. My favorite thing to draw, like I said, is hair. So just, like, watching that come together is going to be good. Looks like I forgot to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, goodness. Work out some of them beans. Bean shading. So there, that's that's just like the basic, the most basic block. <laughs> okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then we get to add the color underneath, and it's like you've got the shadows already done. You just kind of have to adjust that layer, right? Yep. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna add some of the fur detail now. Yeah. Floof, floof, floof. What is your favorite thing to draw? Mine is hair, like I keep talking about, but what is yours? Hmm. Oh, man. I don't know. This is, this is a hard question because <laughs> I like doing this kind of fur. Like, I love doing this fur. Um, yeah. You can pick a few things. I won't stop you. I'm not, I'm not a cop. <laughs> I Dinosaurs are a lot of fun mm-hmm. to draw. Just like the whole dinosaur? the whole dinosaur and putting the scales on like Mm -hmm. that 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 is something that i recently learned how to do Mm -hmm. but it's really cool yeah scales are hard there's all that like little detail about it yeah i while learning 
I was like, there's there's no way I'm going to figure out how to do this. There's so mm-hmm. much. But it's like the illusion of scales and not exactly every detail of the scale. Right. Yeah. No, that's the trick with a lot of art. Because if you do go in and draw every single individual thing, it looks worse than if you just kind of suggested it. Yeah. Because it just gets <laughs> busy. I read this tip for teeth once and that stuck with me just because like, I realized how alarming it is to see somebody draw every single tooth. You know I what? Like I it. never thought about that, but <laughs> <laughs> never, neither did I really until that tip showed up. And it was this realization of like, oh, that's why sometimes these drawings of people with all of their teeth scare me. I understand now. <laughs> Uncomfy. <laughs> <laughs> Just unfortunate tooth art. Unfortunate tooth art. <laughs> Uh, teeth. Oh, I should have. I should have had his little mouth open, showing some teeth. But ah, uh, <laughs> just a stretch. No big yawn. I'm trying to highlight some little areas there. Yeah, to find that floof. Let's see. Ooh. So with Shrine Cats, do you have any other plans for the art that you're doing? Or is it just like you're going to slap it on Neon Mob and move on with your life? I don't know. I'm, I might. I have a possible game that might Ooh. be coming out. I, I, I don't know. I'm I'm making it. But like, I'm like, do I really have time to run it? But if, if I do, if I do eventually have time to run it, I might um, pull this guy out. And make him a, a um, market keeper. <laughs> oh, cute. Would this be for another one of those, like, ARPGs? Or... Yes. Nice. <laughs> he does look like a little market cat. Like, he has a cute little store. <laughs> He's He was based off the, um, the lucky cat. Okay, that makes sense. I've got one of those little guys, like up on my shelves here at my desk somewhere. Yeah, I've got one of the ones Aww. lying down. I've got one. Of, it's a really little one, and he's got a little pillow, and I've had him for years and years, and he's, like, one of the gold ones lying on his back with uh, money on his belly. The gold. Oh. <laughs> and then somewhere here, but I don't know where I've got a – there he is. Yeah, I've got another one who's a piggy dank. Oh, my God. These are, these are like, old souvenirs, too. These are, like, from when I was a teenage weeaboo. <laughs> they're very cute though i love a thing with a cat on it Just i love general, the little lucky cats they're so good they're little friends you know what he that that one is actually what made me want to start the series that that mm-hmm. that's what it was i drew him and i was like you know what <laughs> this Where'd would be an more? adorable series and you were right <laughs> Yeah, that one got, like, a ton of votes, too, when you submitted it up, which is fantastic in what they deserve. I, it got, like, 240-something? I don't know, but 249, because I've got your profile in front of me. 249. I was so surprised. I was like, really, guys? Really? <laughs> People love a good cat, and your cats are good. <laughs> He needs some more big old birds on his tail. Yes. Fluff, 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 fluff. Cannot overdo the fluff, I don't think. That, yeah. I like that a lot. <laughs> yeah, this looks good. I really love the texture on the brush that you're using in this. I have it set down. Um, so it's, it's a density. It's only like 40. So that way I can just keep, like, going over the same spot. Right. And then define some a little more strongly than others that way. Yep. Especially where the light hits more. Yeah. Here. Or right here. I would say these shades are almost done. A lot of them didn't get shades this great. Mm-hmm. So he's he's special. Yes. 
that's one of the extra rare buddies. I'm glad that you spent so much time just exaggerating that floof. It's so important. Good floof <laughs> matters so, so much. It's so important. <laughs> Let's see, maybe this flew from here too. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of floop is a treat. And then blend that in. There we go. There we go. Oh, his little chin. His little chin. God, I have so much trouble with shading, so it's really like cool to see how naturally it looks like it comes to you. I, like I don't I don't know how <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense if it's the thing you enjoy the most that you would just like have that natural like <laughs> you'd want to do so much of that that you get it I've almost uh, I've always uh, words I have also done it so many times that I just kind of instinctively know where I want to put the shades <laughs> or like where they would go but yeah so no need a little bit that. more turn that down maybe a little bit more through here <laughs> little don't he know oh when you went over like the side of his face like that and it brought out some of the fluff on the on like his shoulder by his face that's real good that's real yeah good. <laughs> that's real good it's delicious <laughs> yes delicious take shading. tasty tasty shading content <laughs> i am putting this piece in my mouth <laughs> Probably just a little bit down on the bottom. Not much. Just a little. It's kind of in the background. So tell me more about that game. Oh, so it's going to be about horses, funny enough. And it's delightful. Um, <laughs> one of the horses in the set is actually what is going to be used. Nice. It is the um, Kiso Uma. I'm pretty sure. That's, I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but. Oh. <laughs> You know they better were, than I do. I don't know things about horses. They were like samurai horses. Okay. So it's going to be set um, like in like ancient um, Japan. But it's also okay. going to be set like on an island like kind of away from it. So it has its own like culture, I guess. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I'm i excited for it. Yeah. Another. Oh, we've got this horse game with a cat merchant. I think that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Bonus fella. Um, another thing that I have, go I, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see that? Um, I can only, no, I can only see your art oh. program. So this is going to be another one of, um, another set that I'm going to be doing. I actually emailed about this and they gave me the Ooh. thumbs up for it. Oh, good. Uh, these are items that are going to be in the game. Mm -hmm. And they are like little, oh man, it didn't it save my layers, but... <laughs> It's so little. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, this will be a fun set. I love sets that are like little trinkets. Yes. They're just like the little like lucky charms. Nice. So um there's like over a hundred of these that's, in the game. <laughs> oh, that's so many many. How many have you drawn so far? Um, maybe like 90. <laughs> I still have about 10 more to go. That's a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> You're so powerful. <laughs> It is a whole, whole lot. <laughs> God. Yeah, that'll be a fun set. And we don't, I feel like we haven't released as many near impossible ones lately. So that'll be real fun. How many is it for near impossible? I don't actually know off the top of my head. Um, I think, and I could be wrong about this because I do community management and like Lahar is in charge of the set stuff. Um, so I could be wrong about this. I want to say that it also has to do with like, how many of those cards are like, like if how many of those cards are like extra rare versus how many are common because like if you've got the same number but the set has like more extra rares or if it's got like one extra rare and everything else is not like that affects the difficulty i think i could be huh. wrong i might be talking straight out my butt um <laughs> But oh yeah, I don't know how, what the requirements for near impossible are off the top of my head, except that if you drop like a hundred cards on us, pretty, pretty, I feel, I feel good about saying that will be near impossible. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's probably going to be a hundred plus maybe, maybe some chases that are animated. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. 
Ooh, oh, that'd be fun, though. Yeah, deciding what to do for chases is hard. Animation's always a good bet, I think. Yeah. Oh, man, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this white? Do I want to cut holes in it? Mm. Fancy, fancy boy. Do you have plans for chases for shrine cats? I do, actually. I have um, two. How many do I have? I think I've got two, two chases so far. Um, okay. One is like an item. And another one is um, like a, I don't want to say he's a ghost, but he is a skull. Okay. <laughs> he's a cat skull. Cat skull. He's got like bones. Bone cat. And that one was actually one that I was going to do. Um, it was going to be like animal skulls, but then I saw that there was a bunch of people making those and they were doing really good. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Yeah, this would be else. a cool. This would be a cool fun bonus. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have a lot of skull series? I mean, like I usually collect cutesy stuff, so maybe I've just completely missed it. Yeah, there's there's one that I love. Um, it was like cute and creep. What is it? Cute and creepy skulls. Oh, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's just cute and creepy creatures. Yes, I love that one. Yeah, that's a, Astronautica was... did that. And there was another one. Oh my goodness, what was it? Critter craniums. Mm, okay. Those yeah, those were those really ones. pretty. There's there's so many good ones. <laughs> so many, so many good things. Yeah, okay. I found critter craniums. I see it now. Yeah, I usually collect really cutesy stuff, so sometimes I miss out on those. <laughs> One of my favorite cutesy series is the um, the little food ones. Oh, which little food ones? I mean, we got. I would feel like we have a bunch of food series. There is food. Let's see. Let me, let me Gorgeous let me Garden here. was recent. Um, it was one that has a ton of variants, and I was trying to get them sweets and treats. Sweets and treats. Okay, those are adorable. Yeah. Let me let me pull up sweets and treats so I can look at it. There it is. There's like cat shaped things in there. So that's always a fun bonus. Cat shapes. <laughs> Love a cat shape. Yeah. There, oh, there's a ton of variants for this one. Yeah. I'm still trying to get them and it's, it's a struggle. <laughs> yeah. I like, I don't usually collect variants or chases. I usually am satisfied with the core series. But um, generally, my policy is that like if I've got, if I get lucky while I'm pulling for the core series and I get really close to the chases or variants, I'll keep going. Um, yeah. But only if I get lucky. But I'm finding recently, since I've got my pro subscription now, which I didn't before, um, I get pretty lucky more often. So I've started to collect chases and variants. And I'm like, what has what have I turned into? <laughs> I, listen, I don't know what I would do without my pro. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, I love them pro packs. It's, I, they're good. I just like getting that many cards. It's fun. I like to, um, so one of the things I do if I'm out with friends and we're just kind of in that stage where you're hanging out, but you're all just kind of hanging out on your phones and I'm doing my polls, I'll like have my friend, cause in the app, like you open it up and there's, it shows a whole bunch of like closed packs scattered and you tap which one you want to open. Um, yeah. so I like show my phone to my friends and like ask them to pick a pack for me. Like I'm a, a high roller at a casino asking a pretty lady to blow on my dice. That's how it feels. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> Now that I've got my pro subscription, I try to do that with my pro pack specifically so they feel really good about pulling an extra rare for me or getting so many cards. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if I like that spot. Let's get rid of that one and then try another one. I do like the little spot by the nose. That's really good. <laughs> the tiny spot. It's really good. My roommate's cat. Oh, go ahead. I was thinking maybe the chin. Ooh, that's cute. And then maybe some beans. Yes, 
bean spots, bean spots, bean spots. My roommate's cat is like a perfect little tuxedo cat except that on one of her white little paws, she's got this black spot on the back of her paw. Yeah. And <laughs> it's really cute. And that's why uh, my roommate's family picked her specifically because she had that little spot. Oh. God, so cute. So cute. She's such a cute cat, even though she hates me. <laughs> Let's put some stripes on this cat. Yeah, stripey fella, stripey fella, stripes and spots. Now, my relationship with my roommate's cat is like, the cat wants me dead, but isn't willing to do anything herself about it. Yeah. Like, she's, she's just kind of hoping I get struck by lightning, I think. <laughs> <laughs> she's just like, one day. Yep. Yeah. One day. Yeah. One day. Like she, like I'll scoop her sometimes and she doesn't like it, but she never scratches me or anything. Um, and I'll scoop her for a couple seconds and she'll be like, all right, we're done here. We're done here. We're done here. We're done here. And I won't get scratched, but I'll put her down. Yeah. I don't do this often because she hates it, but every now and again, she's just so scoopable. <laughs> all cats are scoopable. All cats are so scoopable. It's a problem. <laughs> and not all of them like scoops and it's so hard. One of my Your cat's cats. Like, go ahead. Yes. Tell me a cat story. <laughs> One of my cats right now, he had to go to the vet. Um, he has chronic like UTIs. He's had them ever since he was a baby. Mm -hmm. And so like we went and had him checked and now he's on some antibiotics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> he hates antibiotics because they're bubble gum. Oh, like, no. It's, it's like the, the bubble gum amoxicillin. And oh my gosh, he hates it. Oh, hates God. it. Oh no. <laughs> So whenever I have to give him this like liquid bubble gum amoxicillin, I have to scoop him and like hook him under my knee. Oh no! <laughs> so he, so he'll take these this stupid medicine. God bless his little heart. He hates it. God, <laughs> this thing of just like having to wrestle cats into submission. Like no, it's good for you. I promise. Yeah, and then he gets mad at me afterwards until I'm like food and then he's like oh, okay <laughs> yeah okay there's food. this is this is fine then i have of course like all cats never eaten in my life so we're good now i have never eaten my bowl is always empty <laughs> why nope. do you starve me mother <laughs> <laughs> every cat ever every animal ever really <laughs> oh my goodness I do what love I cats. Doing? Their insistence that they've never eaten is part of their charm. <laughs> so, our, our the really, really, really big boy I've got here, mm -hmm. he loves food, obviously. His favorite yeah. thing in the world is food. Um, Felt that. <laughs> like, if I were to say, like, hungry? He, yeah, he just, he was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's true it's me i'm hungry <laughs> but um i had to give him a little feeder um like a little puzzle feeder so that he doesn't eat it all in one go oh my god because <laughs> he was wanting to gotta slow down buddy he would make himself sick yeah so sounds um, like cats yeah especially this boy <laughs> <laughs> but he gets he gets so mad at that, at that stupid feeder because <laughs> he's like you're making me work and I don't want to work. <laughs> but it's working because Good. if he doesn't feel like um you know putting effort in to get food, then you know he doesn't gorge and then you know he eats a healthy amount like he's supposed to. Oh, good. And that's why he's not almost thirty pounds anymore. <laughs> oh, buddy. He oh, was, buddy. Yeah, as, and then he wants to, like, get up, like, on me in the middle of the night and, like, walk on me. And I'm like, oh, you're no, going to kill me. <laughs> you can't be doing this, buddy. <laughs> you Let's can't. See. That's that's a good, that's a good color. There we go. I like this. I like this. Uh, I like these stripes. We're going to do some pink Ooh. around his nose. 
I do like when things are pink. Maybe he's Oz. Oh, he's he got the pink nose. Yes. I'm gonna give him a pink nose. Yes. Oh, extremely boopable. Oh no. No, nope, that's not my layer. There we go. <laughs> oh, I want to boop that nose so bad. I'll make his claws like white. Yeah. Actually, yeah. white is a little too white. Maybe just off a white. Ah, uh, there we go. That looks good. You know what? Where he's got that. Looking at those spots. Oh, yes. Oh, you're so smart. <laughs> he got the speckles. You're so smart and correct. <laughs> Your brain is huge. Galaxy brain. Yes. I want to boop that cat so bad. And let's make his nose. The color. Yeah, this is this is the part where I make the line art like not. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I color it all. Yep. I always have fun coloring the line art. Coloring is just like my favorite part anyway, but. And then after we do this, we can see where, like what it looks like with the shading turned on. Yeah. And the shading is still not done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more. There's just a little bit more, like finishing touches. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that line art just vanished all in one go, huh? <laughs> Goodbye forever. So now he got shades. Ooh. And then let's do... Um... Get out of here. <laughs> See what that looks like. Yes. What? That's Ooh. what I want. Ooh. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I love that shine. It's really good. Big basking stretch. And then one more. Didn't put it on the... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, this is good. While you're doing these lights, this is a good chance because I wanted to make sure you got a chance to plug your social medias and like where we can find your commission info and stuff. Just while we got the quiet period for a second. Okay. <laughs> um, I have a deviant art where I post like almost everything except for neon mob cards because I don't want to spoil them. Ooh. Um, really, like for commissions and stuff, I usually just have people DM me on Discord. Um, mm -hmm. and then I have my YouTube, um, where I I've started uploading tutorials and stuff lately. Mm hmm. But. Yeah, that's, I don't do a whole, whole lot <laughs> on yeah, social fair media. Enough. But <laughs> that's so valid of you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll make sure we at least link your DVNR and your um, uh, YouTube in the description of the VOD as we upload it, too. Okay. So everyone can find your stuff. Give his little nosy some Sean. Oh, I'm so obsessed with little, little lippies. The little nosy. <laughs> I want to boop it. I want to kiss it. Oh, when we're done here, I'm going to go harass my roommate's cat. I want to be in the vicinity of a cat. <laughs> okay. I think that's about it. Excellent. Oh, look at him basking. Look at this Stella. <laughs> I know you don't have the full background, but do we want to see what he looks like with the what you've got turned on? Oh, wait. We also need to um let's see. Let me turn all this off real quick. All right. He needs his outline. Oop. There, there we go. 
Let's help see. them stand out a little. How far do I got? Maybe one more. Yes. Ha, there we go. Now he's got okay. that one. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> he came out so good. I love the light in this. I know that we talked a lot about that as you were doing it, but like the light is very <laughs> Mwah, chef's kiss. I love him. He's a good boy. <laughs> he's a good boy. He's doing a big stretch. Oh, big stretch. <laughs> oh, heck yes. Thank you for streaming with us. Thank you for taking the time to let us watch this come together. This was super cool. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me here. This is a lot of, of fun. Of course. I'm glad. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you so much for being our guinea pig. This was our first like neon mob interview with one of our artists, art stream interview. And I'm really glad that it was you because you've been an absolute delight. Thank you for being our guinea pig. Uh, the rest of these are going to be fun too. Um, Shrine Cats is going to happen at some indeterminate date because we don't, we got to finish the cats first. Um, <laughs> But everybody should look forward to that. I will drop a link to Shrine Cats in the video when I upload it so that you can set, click that little ringy bell and get a reminder when um, Shrine Cats happens. Yes. <laughs> cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. All right. Do you have any closing remarks before we let you go and hassle all your cats too? Nothing I can think of. Cool beans. Well, thank you for streaming with us. Thank you for dealing with our uh, technical play arounds as they happened. And Everybody, please take this final moment to admire this cat before we cut the stream off for the night. <laughs> what a good boy. What a good shiny boy. Big stretch, big stretch. Big stretch and big shines. Big stretch, big shine. <laughs> <Good boy. laughs> All right. Thank you again for hanging with us. This was fantastic. Looking forward to trying cats when it releases and seeing more of your art as it comes. You're welcome. Thank you. Of course. Have a great night. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye.